Achieving patency by reaching the apical foramen in the final third of the root canal is crucial to maintaining cleaning efficiency in the clinical procedure. Patency ensures a higher degree of success. As a general rule of thumb, the original foramen size is typically 0.25 millimeter. To achieve patency with manual instrumentation, begin with a K10 or K15 hand file until patency is achieved. To achieve patency with rotary instrumentation, begin with a K10 file in the first two thirds of the canal. Irrigate the canal after each file change, then negotiate the canal with a 2501 logic glide path until patency is achieved, performing in and out vertical movements in a pecking motion. If patency is achieved, determine whether it is snug or loose. This is evidenced by how easily the file reaches working length. This will indicate the foramen diameter. If the 2501 logic glide path file is snug at working length, and the foramen diameter is at least 0.25 millimeter. Proceed to the corresponding size logic shaping file of the 2501 logic glide path file. In this case, the 2505 logic shaping file. Conversely, if the 2501 logic glide path file is loose at working length, then the foramen diameter is larger than 0.25 millimeter and the clinician should proceed to the next sequentially larger glide path file. In this case, the 3001. Continue this process until patency is snug. Once patency is achieved, employ the corresponding logic shaping file to shape the canal. In this case, the 3505. It is now ready for final cleaning with Bossy Clean and for obturation.